the teams then, Real Madrid against Paris Saint-Germain. John Champion here, and this, the voice of Jim Beglin. Well, what a wonderful setting we've got for this game, John. The atmosphere is absolutely fantastic. He's on his way. Ibrahimovic. He's been quite impressive in the way he's taken on opposition players. And that's what you call going solo. He may have taken the selfish route to goal, but it wasn't a bad run. And it might just spark a, a teammate to come up with something extra. Right? Post in the way. And he's done it. Listen, the big names earn their reputations for precisely the reason we've just seen. They have a habit of making their presence felt. And here we are, early stages. He struck one and he looks hungry for more. Really quick reactions to the loose ball. Oh, it's a terrible mix-up at the back, but it's great awareness to punish them for it. to wait long for the first goal Benzema Pastore Marco Verratti David Luiz Bale away Marco Verratti Pastore, it's Lucas Moura, the ball's with Ibrahimovic, bursting forward, it's one-on-one, -on -one. no luck again, just like last time. Paris Saint-Germain, they've been enjoying as good an attacking spell as, as he could wish for, and yet they've been incredibly wasteful, I mean, they could have wrapped it up by now, and it's, it's not going right for them. Ibrahimovic... Forward it goes. Good ball right down the middle. He's bursting forward. Oh, and it's off the bar. Get it away. Marco Verratti. Modric with an uncompromising challenge. This is starting to turn into a bit of a scrap. Room to turn. And I think if they can keep him facing the other way, then his threat becomes a much lesser Space issue. Space on the flank. Here's James Rodriguez, the flag stays down, Benzema, another one here! Sirigu, well to put it behind, but he'll need to be on his toes again. The goalkeeper making his feelings felt in no uncertain terms. Well, he has every reason to be upset. Where was the pressure? Why was nobody closing down? Too many questions, not enough answers. Well, they put plenty of effort into corners in training. Now it's a match situation. Ibrahimovic puts it behind for a corner. A good delivery essential here. James Rodriguez takes it short. Marcelo! They got away with it somehow. Forward. Looking to receive the ball, break could be on. Ronaldo, tremendous from Cristiano Ronaldo. They lead by two. Wonderful stuff, and it was all about quick thinking and even quicker feet, but you have to ask questions as to how he got through. Now 
it's 2 0. Yeah, we've seen it before that 1 0 can be a fragile scoreline, but now that they have that extra cushion. Here's James Rodriguez. What a reprieve that was. Oh, look, I don't need to tell you that that is not a good area to lose possession in. And should it be repeated, I think there's a real chance that the next time they're going to be punished for it. Tony Cruz. Benzema. Thiago Motta with the challenge, and he's given away a foul. There goes the whistle, and it's half time. Two goals on the score sheet, and the advantage reads 2 0. Paris Saint Germain getting us underway for this second half. Ibrahimovic, here's Lucas Moura. Unfair challenge, deemed a foul. Oh, and he knows it, it's his second yellow, he's off. Real Madrid must play the rest of this game a man short. He went for power there. Well, technically, that was a beautifully struck shot from so far out, and I just thought he was a little unlucky there. Tony Cruz, fail, good delivery, but I'm afraid the finish wasn't up to it. Oh, they really wanted that, there's so many players in the box, everyone's committed to attack now. Marco Verratti, it's Lucas Moura, Ibrahimovic, pumps it upfield. There's someone on the overlap, onside. Cavani. That was really close. Oh, he couldn't have hit that any better. Any other time it would have sneaked in. That would encourage another try, though. Benzema. Here's Cristiano Ronaldo, and they get it away. Lucas Moura exhibiting his defensive capabilities. We know all about him as an attacker, but there are two sides to his game. Well, they say that your front lads should be that first line of, um, of stopping the opposition, and I think he's taken it to another level with his desire to get back and, and help everyone out. Hits it. He misses. Only narrowly, though. Well, when he struck that, he must have thought it was going in. Such are the margins of success and failure in this game. That was so close. It's Benzema looking to carve open the defence. Ronaldo, Ronaldo, another one. They have a three-goal advantage, and that should be enough. That's always a great sight, you know, on a football pitch. Nimble footed, show great balance and a really cool head to finish. And that kind of dribbling is really smart.
Real Madrid comfortably in the lead. Here is Cavani. The ball's with Ibrahimovic. James Rodriguez. The ball played into space nicely. Ronaldo! They have another go. There it is. Riveting, ruthless, relentless. What are your thoughts on the goal, Jim Beglin? I think when you can see the goal like that, the manager has to start questioning his personnel because to allow someone into that position, totally unmarked, I think that's reckless in the extreme, I really do. They have this game in their hands now. Cavani. A foul. Yes, referee's given it. It's an opportunity. Puts it away. It just couldn't have been placed any better. Pulled one back, but still have a mountain to climb. Cruz plays it into the danger area. Down the middle it goes. Benzema, a fine reaction save. The shot was on, but he's blocked his lines. Well, he was so quick to respond to that, almost made it count. Great opportunity. He was close to adding to his tally there. Well, he's certainly a player I'd be more than happy to watch. Tactically, he's almost impossible to stop. Bye. It's Cavani. It's Drew. The ball's with Ibrahimovic. He's onside. A header. Goes after it. That one has just about been dealt with. That's it. The match is over. We've seen some fantastic finishing from this team with real attacking class throughout. Their opponents didn't stand a chance. You know, it's a privilege to be part of a fabulous football match like that. That was a real roller coaster ride for the fans.